Narcissistic abuse comes from a puzzling and troubling personality disorder that shows extreme patterns of entitlement, jealousy, anger, and rage, while also showing a lack of empathy, fairness, justice, and equality. For many, it seems that this narcissistic trend is new. However, we have been warned about these personality types since the beginning. Here are five narcissists found just in the ancient book of Genesis alone. Before we begin, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more life-changing information about the world of narcissism. Now, let's begin. Number 5. Laban the Aramean Also, Laban the entitled Jealous Father Laban is the father of Rachel and Leah, who become the brides of Jacob. In Genesis 29, Jacob agreed to serve Laban for seven years in order to marry Rachel. But after seven long years, Laban breaks his agreement with Jacob, giving away Leah instead and demanding an additional seven years to marry Rachel. Jacob agrees again and endured 14 plus years of this type of malicious, calculated, unfair treatment. In fear of Laban, Jacob finally took his family and escaped Laban's narcissistic world. We see the true evil, entitled nature of narcissism when Laban chases after Jacob to kill him and take everything Jacob worked so hard for. When Laban caught up to Jacob, his reasoning was, the women are my daughters, the children are my children, the flocks are my flocks, everything you see is mine. This accurately shows us the narcissist's twisted entitlement and very dangerous reasoning. Number 4. Semyon and Levi, the tribe of killers. These two sons of Jacob together represent one of the twelve tribes of Israel. These two are most likely the ones responsible for planning an attempt to kill their youngest brother Joseph. Even their own father Jacob has this to say about them in Genesis 49. Semyon and Levi are brothers. Their swords are weapons of violence. Let me not enter their council. Let me not join their assembly. For they have killed men in their anger and hamstrung oxen as they pleased. Cursed be their anger, so fierce, and their fury, so cruel. I will scatter them in Jacob and disperse them in Israel. You know the narcissism is off the charts when their own father has no choice but to bless them with a curse. Number 3. Potiphar's Wife The Resentful Adulteress In Genesis 39, this woman is given no name, but Jewish sources and Islamic tradition identify her as Zuleika, the wife of Potiphar, the commander of the Most High Pharaoh of ancient Egypt. She attempted numerous times to seduce young Joseph, the slave, into having a sexual relationship. Obsessed with getting what she wants, she ultimately suffered narcissistic injury as Joseph continued to refuse because of his good conscience. Her obsession turned into resentment when she couldn't get what she wanted. Unable to deal with her shameful behavior in the presence of Joseph's good conscience, she twisted the story and accused young Joseph through narcissistic projection, having him in prison for a while as a result. Showing us just how dangerous rejecting an entitled narcissist can be. And the lengths in which a narcissist will go to save themselves from their own shame. Number 2. The Whole Town of Sodom The Narcissistic Mob Mentality In Genesis 19, all the men from every part of the city of Sodom, both young and old, surrounded Lot's house, entitled to who was inside. The narcissistic nature of this whole town has less to do with the sexual orientation and more to do with the inherent narcissistic nature of forcefulness, entitlement, and unacceptance of individual rights. This collective narcissism showed they stop at nothing to get what they want. They force even visitors into their lifestyle, even if it means breaking down the doors. This narcissistic mob mentality hates individual independence, refuses to hear no, stop, or any other form of boundaries. 
This narcissistic mob mentality stops at nothing to get what they want, except fire and brimstone and complete destruction of their mob. And last but not least, number one, Cain. One of two brothers representing the first humans born to Adam and Eve in Genesis 4. These two brothers not only represent the first two humans born to parents, but they also represent something much more difficult for us to understand. The difference between good and evil. If narcissism is a spectrum that plagues humanity, Cain and Abel represent the opposite ends. Cain shows the evil extent of narcissistic jealousy, entitlement, anger, and rage. Unable to think reasonably and rationally, we are shown that not even God can change the irrational, cold, and callous free will of narcissistic rage. Cain killed his own brother Abel. His final answer for this unjustifiable action was, Am I my brother's keeper? This story shows us that even family is no protection from narcissism or narcissistic rage. If you enjoyed this five examples of narcissism, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more. Also down in the description box, you will find access to my calendar for one-on-one -on -one appointments. You'll also find access to Royal We Live Chat every Monday night and Royal We Fellowship every Saturday morning at 9 a.m. Follow me on Instagram at JoinTheRoyalWe, and I'll be back with more videos right here on The Royal We.